infatti con The Millet 82 per un altro gameplay di gioco caccia ai trofei e riprendiamo dove abbiamo lasciato la Red Dead Redemption 2 And Jesus went and the field away Allora, vediamo un po'. Eccoci qui. Ok, direi che ci siamo. Ok, andiamo. Tac, tac, tac e tac. Ora abbiamo un problema. Perché? Lui ha solo 11 dollari e quindi la cosa non mi piace per un trofeo. Allora facciamo così, se io carico la partita è un nuovo inizio. Io devo puntare a questo. Devo spendere tutti quei soldi lì. Ok, proviamo a caricare questa. Sì. Questo perché c'è un trofeo che praticamente dice di dover spendere 5.000 dollari ai negozi. Il problema è che come vedete io sono partito con 11 dollari e invece io avevo 6.000 passadollari con Arthur Morgan. Capite che farlo come adesso nel post partita diventa un, un problema. se non sbaglio c'è anche un altro trofeo che è quello che dice di modificare l'arma al massimo
Guten Morgen. Hey, move! Oh, welcome back. Most people who leave Ansberg that long don't come back. What were you looking for today? Oh, no. You need to care for that weapon if you want it to do you any good. If you have gotten tired of staring down the sights on this one, you might want to upgrade them. You won't know how you managed without this. You know, this weapon would look even more impressive with some engraving. What do you think? I could rifle the barrel of this one if you like. E questo è uno. Allo. I hear there was a big shootout with the Mercury gang in the caves at Beaver Hollow.
You will only find the best in here. You've kept that weapon looking as nice as the day you bought it. Well done. Ah, you have kept that perfectly maintained. I love to see that. in town for the night, I have a spare room available for rent just next door. in that mine are getting worse by the year. If nobody wants to work there, what would become of this town? I offer a bathing service, sir. It will make you feel like a new man. Once they closed the saloon here, I knew Ansper's future was bleak. in this town are just trying to survive. I like to think I offer tools to help. Quality gun will save your life many times over. That is what I aim to provide. Worn down. I do have a room for rent if you need to get some rest. I 
don't mean to offend, but you look like you could use a bath. Here are regularly maintained and clean. The coal dust gets on everything. People around here save up their money to buy oh, ammunition God. instead of food. Molto bene. They know what they like. Anche questo è fatto. Hey! Did I catch you? Okay, boy. Just a break, pal. Don't get funny. You ain't welcome in these parts. The Murphys remember.
mi fermo un secondo Molto bene, direi. Molto bene. Ok. Quindi le cose che devo fare con... Vabbè, che poi fino in pratica basta... Non so, a scriverla. Adesso vediamo che non ci ha fatto caso. 30? Partner! Yellow! Let's give you another go, girl.
Doing okay, girl. Oh. Damn thing. Milton, get over here. Mr. Geddes, this is the new ranch hand I told you about. Well, I heard you had some trouble with your welcome, but you kept your nerve and protected my property. No, it was nothing, sir. Mm -hmm. I'm David Geddes. Pleased to meet you. John, Jim, <laughs> Milton. Thank you for the opportunity, sir. You and Mr. Dickens. Well, you work hard. You be honest. You'll get your keep. I promise you that. Boy has a family. Well, lucky man. Then you better work extra hard. Good day, Howdy, sir. gentlemen. Sir. You hear that, John, Jim? Extra hard. Hey, hey, get over here. Mr. Dickens, go find old Jim Milton here something to do. Make sure he works extra hard. Sure, Mr. Dickens. Come on this way. I, I was on my chores anyhow. Say, is that your family getting in uh, the Order, wagon up there? Ah, I believe it is. Mind if we go welcome them? Not at all. Hey, is it true what they said about you? that you ran off those hired guns? Look, can we, uh, not discuss this in front of my wife? Oh, uh, no, you're sure. Yeah, of course, mister. I don't want to worry her. Oh, yeah. I hear that. Mrs. Milton! Jim Milton. How fine you seem. This kind man just collected us. Thank you, sir. I think we can be okay here. It's ranching work. This place is kind of... It's fine. But I hear you began your career in ranching by throwing your weight around. Real wise, Jim. What was I supposed to do? The place was getting robbed. So you show everyone who's boss? Real fine. I didn't have much of a choice. I gotta go. Jack, when you're done in here, come on out and lend a hand. I was going to milk the cows. Come on, I'll do it. You hey. are going to milk the cows? Sure. <laughs> Why not? Oh, uh, I don't know. I, I thought you was... Uh... I'm a ranch hand. A new one at that. When you got here, them hired guns? I was just getting my wagon back. That's all. Weren't nothing. Oh, it weren't nothing. It's about time someone stood up to them fellers. So, where are you from anyway, partner? Around, you know, up north, mostly. Been in these parts before, but that was years ago. Oh, <laughs> it's changed. The rich fellas are coming in and buying everything, the ranches. But, well, it ain't as wild as it once were, at least. There is that. Say, if it ain't too personal a question, are you a gunslinger, mister? <laughs> Good lord, no. Nothing like that. Oh. Just a ranch hand, then. Just a ranch hand. Failed at a bunch of things, like most men. <laughs> well, I feel a whole heap better having a ranch hand like you around. That is for sure. <laughs> Let's see how you feel once you see me work. <laughs> <laughs> All right, then. Here's the cows. Yeah, we used to have a bunch of women here did most of the milking. Yeah, but most of them drifted off. Okay. You fine with milking? You know, I ain't really done much of it. Could never... Never really get the hang of it. You serious, mister? Sure. It's Jim. Jim Milton. Hey, sit down. I'll show you how. 
Approach her calm now. She don't take too kindly to surprises. Okay. Almost got a pail full. Is that your boy? Sure. Hey, Lancelot. Well, hey, Lancelot. Hey. We're gonna make a dairy maid of your pa yet. <laughs> I never thought I'd see the day. Watch and learn, partner. We all gotta That's earn our enough, keep. Jim. Come on. How about you and the boy uh, help me clean out the stable? Sure. Come on, son. now, Lancelot. Twelve, sir. Ain't that grand. It's such a fine name. I like it. I got... I got imaginative parents, sir. <laughs> I can tell. Now, it ain't pleasant work, but it's gotta be done. Mr. Dickens said... I know what he said. We'll do it. Won't we, boy? Mm-hmm. Okay. Well, you get them stalls cleaned out, and I'll see you later. Bye. Okay. Jack, let's just try and take some pride in this work, hard as it may be. Boy, bring that wheelbarrow over here and keep it close to me. Yes, sir. Hold on a moment. You're a long way from Angelo Bronte's mansion now. Sorry, sir. Nothing. That stinks. Coming. Think your mother's hiding somewhere? Laughing at us? You almost got me. Reckon even your mother would say we're almost done here. You finish things up, I'll go check on her. Okay. Where's Jack? Shoveling shit in pursuit of the better life you want. Same as I've been. Oh, won't do him no harm. I know. Guess maybe we can last here. Survive. Do a little better than survive for once. I'm tired of fleeing, John. So, well, you know. Me too. Put some coffee on. <ride> bello, bello lì. Oh, quindi che bello quando mi dà questo oro così secco. Perfetto. Visto? Come? Non si può salvare. Hi fellas. Morning, partner. Mister. Okay there. Ok. 
Questa non mi fa salvare. Mr. Geddes. You got an answer for me? Mr. Geddes, I... I said, Abe, yes, sir. where are the other hands? I, I thought I said I don't rightly know, Mr. Geddes, sir. Well, what good is that to me? We got three horses lost, possibly more, a mare about to foal, sir. and no hands to help with any of it. I'm supposed to be heading into town. This place is chaos. Hey, Pa! Can I get some help? Pa! Milton, Milton, you good with horses? I'm okay. I'll do whatever needs doing, sir. Good man. Can you help my boy, my youngest, Duncan? He will insist on riding Jeremiah, a horse that is far too strong for him. And my wife will need help with this mare. Abe? Sir? You and Dickens better not make any more mistakes like you did today, you hear? No, sir. Thank you. Both of you. Come on, he's over here. I'm good. You get off. Go find them horses. No, no, no. I'll show you. Since you showed up, runaway horse has been to some of our problem. And I am thankful for that. I ain't done too much. I ain't much of a rancher. Oh, heck. Hey, maybe them Laramie boys weren't so tough after all. Huh? Maybe I could have handled them. Of course you could. They're just loud mouths. <laughs> so, uh, is that what the boss is doing in town? Some business with them boys or something? Well, when Mr. Geddes goes into town, well, it ain't exactly for, uh, business. Oh. Uh, okay then. All right. He'll be just at the end there. Well, I better get to. Thanks, kid. None of that. Hey, you Duncan? Settle down, okay? I'm Jim. Jim Milton. Hey. Easy. Need a hand with that horse? No. Whoa. <laughs> you sure about that? Okay, hey, yes, yes, I now. do. Pretty big one. You That's done? That's Jeremiah. Come on. Okay, Jeremiah. There, boy. Come on. Easy, boy. Oh. Someone put some onions on their oats, didn't they, boy? Oh, calm down. He likes you. I ain't sure he likes any of us, but I'll make him respect me and behave. Can't you teach me how to make him behave same way as he does for you? I'm supposed to go help your mother. She's got a horse in foal. That'll take hours. Well, training a horse can take hours. Just give me a quick lesson, sir. Please. Okay. Let me ride him a bit first. Get some of the spunk out of him. Okay. I'll wait in the corral. Yeah, boy. Yeah, Jeremiah. Come on, where's that big mean horse? Come on, 
Let it all out of you. You got some energy? Show me that. Get a lather up. Okay. That was fun, wasn't it? You can behave now, can't you? He's ready for you. Okay. Get on up there and go nice and slow. Stay calm. Me? The horse. You're calm. My heart's beating a little. Keep your voice calm and your legs strong. Don't let old Jeremiah sense fear. I won't. Doing fine. Real nice. Not that I'm saying you need one, but you sure there isn't another horse for you to ride around here? I had a pony, but I'm too grown for him now. Yeah? You think my son could borrow him? Huh? Lancelot? Yeah. Sure. I'll get it hitched by your cabin there. All right. Thank you, son. Can I ask? Are we in trouble from all these Laramie boys? They say Mr. Abel's real rich, way richer than Pa, and he's got all these hired guns out of Laramie, and if Pa doesn't sell, well, they'll come here and they'll- hey, Easy there. You don't have to worry about all that. You just worry about Jeremiah there. Yeah, but, but- Just worry about the horse, yeah? Yes, sir. I think you two might be ready to go out without a chaperone. Oh, I'm not sure about that. You're good. Nice and easy now. Both of you. You Mr. Milton? I thought you were gonna help me. I am. I was. I'm sorry. Come on. I need a man's help. Duncan, what have I told you about distracting the hands? I'm sorry, Ma. <sighs> well, I hope you'll listen to me better than my husband. Thanks, Jim. You're doing fine, kid. Give him a carrot when you put him down. So, you know much about birthing a foal, Milton? Not too much. Oh my God, where does my husband find men like you? Still, we all know where he goes in town, and it ain't hunting for hands. It's not too hard, you just uh, stick a hand in there and get a feeling for where the legs are. Go on. Whatever you say, ma'am. Coming out one way or another. Grab them again. Didn't come. Get a hold of it again. And pull. Grip them. Oh. Okay, well, I think she's... Well, we're not out of the woods, but I think she may be okay. Great. We'll make a proper hand of you yet, Mr. Milton. I hope so. Thank you. Oh, and Mr. Milton... Feel free to make a call at the house sometime. Perhaps even now. A drink to toast our new arrival. <laughs> I'd like that, but my wife is expecting me back. Oh, you're married? I didn't know we had any married hands. Yeah, we we have a boy. Maybe you've seen him around? Oh, uh, I'm, I'm busy. Uh, too busy for social calls. Of course. Good.
Ha capito che coppia lui va in città a trombare le puttane e le sta a casa a ficcare con gli aiutanti. Hai capito? Ecco perché non vogliono sposati. Mi fanno contenti anche la sciura. Pensate. Che coppia. Hey John. Jim. Sorry. So, this is what you wanted. Fake names, which, by the way, Dickens sees clean through. John. Us on the run. John, this is our chance to make something new. Come on. Please. For me. For him. How's he been? been kind of withdrawn quiet you know sure take him out please come on boy let's go for a walk come on Around to the left. What do you see? The pony? Get on him. We're taking a ride. Duncan, Mr. Getty's boy lent it to you. Let's go. How you doing? Fine. Can we go home? No. You're... Stay calm. Where would you like to go riding? Aside from home. I don't know. But... Maybe that stream? Good idea. Now you know all this. Get him going. Come on. You know. The horse can feel your fear. Just act confident, okay? Uh-huh. Confident. Yep. Don't pull on the reins. You'll yank his bit out. Use your legs. There you are. Now let's go. Jack, a little kick and a... See, you can do it. Now how about you speed up a mic? Okay. Whoa! C'è un posto dove devo andare, stiamo andando a Capocchia. Capocchia. Wow! You know? This ain't so bad, sir. Good. Amazing what the right horse and a little confidence can do. Even faster, come on! Faster? How do I look? Better than before. Keep at it. Whoa! We can go even quicker. If you say so, sir. Yeah. Okay. Let's go oh. across to the stream. Yes, sir.
Here we are. Yep. We should get back. You think you're ready for a little race? I guess. All right. We go back to the path and up to the ranch. Okay. On my go. Go! Are you still back there? You'll have to catch me! Your horse is much bigger! And you're much smaller! Like a jockey! I beat you! I beat you! I Well beat ridden, son. <laughs> I beat you. Like I said, your riding has gotten so much better. Thanks. Hey, keep practicing your riding. You too. You need it. Devo fare tutti questi giorni sta roba scherza. Hey. Mm. I'll get the coffee home. Thank you. I'm headed to work today myself, Jack. Huh? So you stay out of trouble. Where are you working? I told you. Cleaning at the doctor's office. Bye. Bye. <laughs> Give the place a tidy. Okay, Pa. I'll see you later. Hey, Milton, can you give me a hand with this fence? Sure. Know much about fence building? Not really. <laughs> can't build a fence, can't milk a cow, ain't used to shoveling shits, but took on a gang of robbers single-handed. Guess we all got our peculiarities, Mr. Dickens. What was you doing before you came here? I told you. Wife got cheated out of inheritance. We was in a legal dispute. It was a bad time. It sounds awful, but I guess I don't believe a word of it. I was raised to take a man at his word, and also to believe this is a free country. So free that I can't tell you what to think. 
So I guess it don't much matter what you believe. But I will work hard, and I learn fast. Okay. Give me a hand with this fence. Yep. There's plenty more to do. Pound it in there. We don't want it coming down. Good. Now grab a rail, line it up with a notch, and place it in. Now, lift up the other side. We gotta line up, see? Now the next rail. Okay. Fine. Good. That looks okay. Go to the next post and pound that in. I hope you've grasped the basics. I got other matters to attend to, but there's more than a day's work here for you. All right. So long. I'll be counting sections when you're done. Okay. Over here. Put that fence down and get over here, boy. Quick as you can. Milton, get over here. Coming. Come on, give us a hand. Know much about bulls, Milton? Uh, just the basics. Don't make them mad. Angus Geddes, this is Jim Milton. Mr. Milton? Angus is your boss's son. Nice to meet you. Well, let's try and move this great hunk of chuck. Come on, move! Oh, oh. Oh, shit. I'll get him. Get him. Up on him, Milton, and try and calm him down. You all right? Shoot! Shoot! Let's talk. Great. No. Uh, don't. I gotta build that. Whoa. Whoa. Crap. Okay. my friend. No, you don't. <laughs> Nice and easy now, boy. Come on, Finn. There, there. There, there. Whoa, there. Whoa, there. Easy. Easy. All better? Okay. <laughs> now, come on, you hunk of chuck. Stop. Come on. Come on. Got him, Mr. Dickens. Oh, good. How you doing, son? A bit sore, but I'll be okay. Thank you, Mr. Milton. My pleasure. And you, mister? Fine. He just got my head. <laughs> Good. There he is. See you later, Jim Milton. We'll make a rancher of you yet. Mr. Geddes don't like trespassers. 
Was that so? Yes. That was... <laughs> <laughs> you want to watch your mouth, boy. You will be the first one we kill. Yeah. Leave him alone. <laughs> oh, careful, boys. Careful. Yeah. Look at this tough guy. Get out of here. How oh, fancy parents get is paying you to be tough for him, huh? <laughs> <laughs> no, he's paying me to keep the place clean. Oh. So he had some problems with vermin. Oh, listen to this. Real funny. <laughs> no! Oh, oh, get him now. Come on, get him. Oh, kick his head in, Bob. Come on. Oh! Spends on women, saves on hands. <laughs> when was the last time you had a bath? <laughs> licking you, boss. <laughs> boss, boss, you need help? That boy can punch. He hit me first. Oh, you can fight, boy. I'll give you that. Well, how's your wife in a brawl? Leave my wife alone. Oh, she's real pretty. Get out of here. Oh, quite a temper you got. Imagine you're you're frustrated with your lot in life. Married to a shit shoveling farmhand. <laughs> <laughs> What'd you do wrong to end up here? Leave my wife alone. Welcome to Big Valley, Jim Milton. Pleasure to meet you both. We'll see you again. And you, boy, tell Mr. Geddes we called. We'll be back. <laughs> Thank you, Mr. Milton. Thank you. Don't worry about it. Stop acting like a goddamn storybook hero, will ya? What choice did I have? Plenty, you moron. Plenty. We all get caught eventually, John. I guess the trick is to decide by who. Ah. Now, dear, I, I... You won't hear any of getting on surviving I think here I'll get you some coffee the only thing I know how to do is well you no know, undertakers like me cattle not so much that ain't true I ain't no rancher rustled horses not raised them stole cattle not birthed them I was I was reading the newspaper I was reading about a old ranch, Beecher's Hope, down by Blackwater. Was you? Well, Jack read it to me, but I thought maybe we could raise some money. Bank could lend us the rest. We could be happy, John. We Bank could... loans? I got a goddamn price on my head, woman. I know. I know all about that. Every time we about to get somewhere, make something, you go and show the entire world that you ain't Jimmy Milton. Every place we've been, it's been the same. We start doing okay, and then boom. You act like the big man with the gun. I'm tired, John, and I guess I was dreaming a little. At least give me that. Just feels hopeless. Mm. 
You're doing better. Milton! Milton, ma'am. Mr. Geddes needs you to head over to Strawberry in the wagon and collect some mail for him at the post office. Sure. I'll take the boy with me. He's getting soft. Lancelot! Come on. Jim, if you're heading that way, can you pick up a parcel for me? The dress I ordered, I think it's in your name. My name. I think so. One's in your name, and the other one's in mine. O only one should have come in by now. How much shopping you done? Oh, yes, a real keen purchaser of goods, me. Look at me. <laughs> okay, Lancelot. We'll make a man out of you yet. Not too much of a man, mine. He's only a boy. Just gonna show him how to drive the wagon a little. We'll save the real exciting realities of adulthood for another day. Come on, get! You take care now. Of course. Ricordo quanta strada c'è da fare. Neanche tantissimo. It's nice getting out of the house, huh? I like being in the house, Pa. I think just about the only things you like, boy. Yes, sir. You make that clear enough. What's that supposed to be? Only that you aren't so happy here with us. Son, I'm happy. It's just... I, I find it hard, is all. You'll understand someday. Here. You want to take the reins a little? I, I don't know, Pa. Uh, <laughs> it's easy, boy. Don't be scared. Well, uh, w what do I do? Well, just hold them and pull them short to slow down. Tell them to go faster. Give them a little switch. And then pull to one side if you want to turn. Here, try it out. Enough for now. That game's strawberry, eh, kid? Looks like. You know, I think this is the longest I've seen you without a book in your hand. It was foolish to forget mine, sir. Look, I got some business to attend to with the clerk. I'll leave you with the wagon. Can I trust you not to drive off with it? Oh, I think I can be trusted to that. Very good. All right, here we are. You all right, son? Sure. Well, cheer up a little. You wait here. I won't be long. Okay. And if you behave, I might let you drive us home. Can't what? Hi. I'm here to name. My name? Uh, Jim Milton. Jim Milton. Hmm. <laughs> nope. Nothing here. Uh, maybe try Marston. John Marston. It's a long story. Okay. John Marston. Marston. Nope. Nothing here for that name either. Try Abigail Roberts. Abigail Roberts. Abigail Roberts. Hmm. Yes, here we are. And also, I'm here to pick up the deliveries for Pronghorn Ranch. David Getty sent me. Pronghorn? Yes, er, uh, oh, er, uh, sign here. We have a bunch of stuff for you. I'll take these. You get the rest of the stuff. Here. 
Let me help you with this, Mr. Marston. Uh, it's uh, mostly Milton these days. It's a long story. Whatever you say, Mr. Milton. It's not important. Take care now. Give my regards to Gettys. Thank you very much, mister. Okay. Let's get out of here. Everything okay, Pa? Sure. I hope so, at least. Here. You take the reins a little. I ain't sure. Come on, son. You'll enjoy it if you try a little harder. Okay. Okay, Pa. Yeah! going back to Pronghorn, okay? So, wait. We've come all the way out here, and we're just gonna turn around and go back? That's what we're doing. Turns out, uh, I missed the seclusion of the ranch more than I figured for. Don't you want to go to the store, or the saloon, or anywhere? We're going back. Okay, boy? But, I've been sitting in this wagon I don't know how long. But nothing. Keep on driving, and watch the road. Yes, sir. Thank you. Jesus, mind your father, okay? I got my reasons, even if I don't care to explain them. Yes, sir. Better. Adesso succede qualcosa. Look, if I tell you to speed up, speed up. If I say slow down, you slow down, okay? Uh, sure. All right, speed up. Get away from there. Okay. Pia! Who's this? Sorry, sir. Was that a question for me? No. No, keep driving. Just a bit faster now. Yep. What's wrong, Pop? Nothing. driving across here it's the same as any other road look where you want to go and the horse will follow okay i think the horse is getting skittish you'll be all right you still say brain what nothing just keep driving <laughs> Okay. What? What's wrong? Don't look around. Oh, Pa, th hey. those men, are they following us? Just, just stay calm. See that fallen tree? When we get there, stop the wagon, jump down, and hide. Oh, Pa. You need to do exactly as I say, boy. Here, now! Uh, come on, quick, down! Okay, son, you wait here. You don't move or say nothing until I speak to you. You hear? Yes, sir. Head down. Okay, gentlemen, let's see what you come calling about. What do you boys want with us? Oh, we just want to have a friendly chat. Are you John Marson? You sure look like him. I don't know what you're talking about. I'm just here with my son. Did you kill a fella out in Roanoke a few months back? No. Wasn't me. That was my brother. I'm real sorry, friend, but he was trying to rob. You're talking bullshit, mister. Kill him. <laughs>
It's okay. You're okay. What? Why? What? It's okay. It's okay. Come on. Keep them eyes closed. Let's go. Come on. Get up. Oh, dear. Those men. I told you not to look, boy. Are they dead? I didn't have much of a choice. You saw that. You got compose yourself. You killed them, Paul. Son, I need you to hold it together. You were real brave back there. Real brave. Did exactly like I said. Really? Uh-huh. If you hadn't listened, things could have gone real wrong for us. wants us to buy some old ranch. You read to her about it, didn't you? Mm-hmm. What was it called? Mm-hmm. Well, what was the name, boy? Peacher's Hope. That's right. Peacher's Hope. Over by Blackwater. You like the idea of that, huh? Us on the ranch? I don't know. I can see you as a rancher's boy. Like Duncan Geddes, huh? I wasn't so sure, but... Yeah. That kind of life might suit us. Wouldn't be such a chore if the horses we were cleaning up after was ours, would it? <laughs> no, it wouldn't. Mm. Okay, here we are. That was an uh, eventful trip. How was the What happened? Yeah. It's I don't We got shot at. Shot at? What happened? Well, we got followed and then we followed by who? Probably someone who knew me. If we didn't get to them particulars, I'm sorry. My son. Our son. It was your dress that caused all the problems. It weren't even a dress. It was a gift for you. Just do one thing or another. Not be two people at once. That's all I'm saying. Ottanta cinque per cento. Now, dear, I won't hear any more of it. You won't hear any of it. Not in front of the men. You toad. All right, smile, smile. Do not embarrass me. Mr. Geddes? Hey, I heard we had another incident with the uh, Laramie boys. Yeah, there was an incident. Well, I mean to scare me. Are you scared? A little. I've got a lot invested in this place, and, and not just the land, but, but my family. It's, uh, it's hard to explain. I understand. I'll do my best to keep you safe, sir. Yeah. I know you yeah. will. So how's your family? Uh, just fine. I should probably head back. <laughs> Yeah, I know how it is. <laughs> How'd you get on? Okay, I guess. Better? 
Sure, I'm just tired. I know. Anybody want some more? Uh, no, no, I'm good. You. I miss Mr. Pearson. John Marston, you're such a pig. <laughs> 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 All right, it's getting late. Let's get some rest. Good night, Jack. Good night, Mama. Good night, Jack. Good night, Pa. That could have been her buddy. I guess you should it. What the hell was that? What are you, what are you doing? My job, Abigail. Lock this door behind me. Don't open it unless you know it's me. I think so. Yeah. Jim Milton saved my life. It's Mr. Abel. Yeah, of course, it's Mr. Abel. I can't believe he thinks he can scare me out of here. Then I guess we're getting your cattle back, I guess sir. we are. Can you go too, Tom? Of course, sir. All right, Jim, I know you can handle yourself. A little. Go get your guns and head out. Guns? Oh, don't play coy with me, son. We need your help. I don't care what you used to do or what your, your, your name is. This is the land of second chances. Understood. Okay. Come in, it's me! What was it? Mr. Getty's cattle was taken. God, I'm sorry to hear that. What are you doing in that thing? Mr. Getty's been real good to us. We... I... What are you doing? My job, Abigail. My goddamn job. I'll lead the way. This is gonna be the last we hear... Here. We'll be better on foot. Okay. If you say so. That's the place up ahead. There's our cows. A couple guards out front. A couple more around the side, I imagine. Let's get a closer look. Let's go. Yeah. There's plenty of guards. I'm gonna head straight in. Yep, Tom. You head up there and try and give us some cover. Abe, you're gonna try and flank the place and come in from the back. I'll give you a minute or two, then I'm heading in. Yes, sir. Okay. Hey! Hey! You boys been coming up to Pronghorn? I thought I'd come down here. You're all so tough! Come have a word with me. You here to cut a deal? You're too late, partner. I'm here for our cattle. And to teach some manners to all of you. <laughs> you seen how many men we got? As many as money can buy. Now get out of here, Hayseed, before you get a hole in your head. Just shoot him. I 
got time to look after you, kid. Ah, uh, okay. Look out, huh? Let me deal with this. Sorry for what you've done. You're gonna pay, all right. You and your wife. Where are you, big fella? Piss digging, shit shoveling, backwoods, sacka, no good, trash. That woman of yours got the look of a woman ain't had a real ride in her life. She's got to make do with some piss poor stinking farmhand. Hey, hey, tell her I'll let her in my sheets. As long as she bathes. For You're back. You did real well, Mr. Milton. This man can really fight. Save the whole place. Ah, uh, that weren't nothing. Well, you, oh, you, <laughs> you saved my life. No need to say nothing, sir. Just doing my job. Now, I don't think they'll be back tonight, but how about Abe? Just in case you stay up. Yep. You see anything or hear anything, you fire that rifle three times. Three times. We'll all come running. We'll do. Uh, well said. 
And thank you, Mr. Milton. Truly. Just glad to be of service, sir. <laughs> I understand. You get some rest. Thank you, Mr. Geddes. What? What? What choice did I have? Just answer me that. What was I supposed to do? Mr. Jim? Mr. Jim? Hey. Uh, there's a telegram messenger for you over there in, near the house. There is? Okay. Thanks, Abe. What do you think you want? I have no idea. But I doubt someone wants to give me a big pile of money. That's him. All right, that's just him. Thanks, Abe. Magari che c'è qualcosa proprio l'ha fatto apposta. Excuse me, mister. I'm Jim Milton. Heard you had a telegram for me? Yes, here. Sign there. Thank you. Huh? Jim, stop. If you're the JM I know, stop. It's Sadie Adler. I've got something to discuss. Pay good. Meet me in saloon in Valentine. I'm there most days. Stop. Sadie Adler. I'll be damned. Abigail. Uh, yep. Sono andata col figlio. Darling John, a kind lady in the village helped me write this. She had men problems of her own, but that's a different story. Listen, I have begged you, but it don't seem to make much difference. I've tried everything I know to make you grow up. And you know I love you, but loving you means I can't watch you do this. Time after time, claro, we've had to run because of your behavior and your decisions. We got a son. I got a son. And I love our son enough that I can't have him around while you're like this. I had so many dreams, John. I hoped you would change. We all saw what happened to them that didn't, but you... Part of you is hellbent on ending up the same way. And I love you too much to watch that no more. Abigail. Me regalo. No, because I regalo. Where's the wife, Milton? Uh, she's out. I saw her leaving with the boy and the bags. What's going on? You married Mr. Dickens? No. That don't surprise me. What'd she do? Catch you with a showgirl? Or hear about you shooting more fellas over by Strawberry? Just who are you, Jim Milton? I'm a family man. I can handle a gun, sure. Them men shot at me. Just interested, that's all. Ain't nothing interesting. Unless you find gossip about a man's marriage worthy of your time. Guess not. There's work to be done. Unless you're running off too. 
I ain't going nowhere. I'm here to work. Gotta save money, get her what she wants. What does she want? She wants a place of her own. Said she found a plot up at Beecher's Hope. You? A rancher? You'll starve. Probably. <laughs> Keep yourself busy. Take your mind off it. Faccio una infinita, non fece mai. But that's her fool. Hey, you know I was wrong about you. you turned into a fine worker, Jim Milton. Oh, thank you. It means a lot. Hey, you think I could speak with Mr. Geddes? See if maybe he's open to offering me some guidance. No, I'm sure he'd be happy to hear you speak, at least. Thank you, Mr. Dickens. Hey, son. How's that bull? Fine, Mr. Milton. Your father in? Can I have a word? Sure. I'll just get him. Pa! Hey, I'm right, right here. <sighs> What's the problem, Milton? I'm sorry for the disturbance, sir. Oh, no problem. My wife, she just began her morning discourse on the subject of my faults. An experience I think every man can relate to. In some ways, my wife... My wife also has issues with some of the decisions I've made. Real issues. Hmm? Do you believe a man can change, sir? Where is this heading? I guess I don't know. <clears throat> I've tried to be a good hand. I've worked hard to secure your property. And for that, we are grateful. And you've paid me well besides. The thing is, I suppose, I need to get a place of my own so I can prove to my wife that I've changed. I understand. But I ain't got much money. I ain't asking to borrow none. But maybe you could go to the bank and put in a good word so they could give me a loan. A loan, huh? So I can buy that place, Beecher's Hope? Yes, I know it. Yes, of course, sure. It'd be, it'd be my pleasure. But take my advice, Milton. Take your money and go buy passage on a boat. Go to Brazil and forget all about family. I'm just joking, son. Just make sure you deal with Ansel Atherton at the bank. He's a distant cousin. He has my name. Tell him to ask me direct himself. You'll get what you need. Thank you, sir. 
Yeah, I was young and dumb once, too. <laughs> You'll get her back.
No, non era qua. Forse compendio, sì. Bando. You good? Hang in there, girl.
You ain't looking for gold here, is you? Cause, uh, I called it. <laughs> Guess I'll just leave you to your spoils. Mm-hmm. Okay, here's a lucky bucket. This is one. All right. Let's see you what you got for me. You hired from me now. Get out of there. Come on. Another little bit of nothing. Well, that's okay. Fair shake, and what's that? Nothing. God damn line to pile of dirty rotten waste of my time. Don't take it hard, friend. You'll be all right. Well, bye. Let's go, girl. Come on, lady.
Hey, Mr. Abel's thugs. Been wanting us to sign our land over. Only this time they... I escaped, but they... They have my husband. They're gonna kill him. Abel's thugs, huh? Where are they? It's the stone farmhouse back there where I came from. I'll head there now. I'll see about finding more help. Che bello è che ci devono tutte le armi. Yes. Thank you. Thank you. Those goddamn bastards deserve that and more. My wife. You see my wife by any chance? Yeah, I saw her. West of here. She told me to come find you. Oh. Oh, thank God. But thank you for hearing her call.
Coming on, girl. Black or white. Vean que Black Water no me hace mal a chiquito y hago ese pico. Excuse Hello me, sir. There. Can, I, can I help you? Hello yeah. There. I'm looking for Mr. Atherton. I'm a friend of Mr. Getty's over at Pronghorn Ranch. Oh, <laughs> yeah, Mr. Atherton is in his office. Hey, please head in. Thank you. Yeah. Can I help you? I hope so. <clears throat> I want a loan, sir. A line of credit, so I can buy some property. What property? An old ranch, Beecher's Hope. <laughs> oh, that old dump? I, I know it ain't much, but I ain't much of a farmer either. But I will get there. That is a very unusual way of asking for a loan. Mr. M Marston. Marston. Only folk around here call me Milton. It's kind of a joke, I guess. <laughs> a joke, huh? And which folk? Mr. Gettys. I work for him. He said that you could help me out. I mean, if you can. So old David Geddes told you I'm the kind of man to loan a man with two names money so he can buy a run-down farm on account of his lack of farming skills, huh? <laughs> Don't sound too promising when you put it like that. <laughs> well, how would you put it? Sorry to waste your time, sir. Oh, sit down. I'm sure we can figure something out. Now, of course, we'll be expecting you to make regular payments, and given a lack of much evidence you got any means of repaying, the terms won't be too great. But if my cousin vouches for you, it'll be okay with the bank. Really? <laughs> Absolutely. Thank you. Now, of course, we'll be expecting our money back regular as clockwork until the debt's settled. Otherwise, the farm reverts to the bank, no matter how much you paid. I understand. Mm -hmm. Well, why don't you go check out the land while I fix the contracts and talk to Mr. Geddes?
Oh, I heard there's squatters up there. We've been having so many problems recently. They'll need clearing on. Sure. Well, come back when you're done and we'll fix it. Hey, scusa, non ho letto. Tutto a posto. Allora, il gioco principale l'ho finito. Come immaginavo, il, il protagonista, diciamo, la persona che usavo è morto. Che era malato. E tu, il tuo socio, diciamo, uno di quelli del campamento, dell'accampamento, secondo più, diciamo, più amico, tu hai preso, okay. adesso usi lui. E quindi, in un certo senso, stai facendo l'epilogo dove ci sono altre missioni. E, e in teoria lui era malato, e quindi io aspettavo che morisse di malattia. In verità, poi, eh, diciamo, un po' era stato braccato da quelli che gli davano la caccia degli agenti federali. Un po' è. Quello è il capo del mio accampamento, quando è morto un altro era mezzo diventato folle, un altro che era uno, uno, la spia degli agenti federali si è unito a lui e insieme è andato alla caccia. Nel, nella scena del combattimento finale diciamo che si è, non mi ha né aiutato né dato contro se non intromesso e io comunque ormai indebolito dal combattimento, da un po' di ferite, e con quello con cui stavo combattendo se ne è scappato e io comunque sono morto al tramonto e mi ha fatto la scena da sborone. Però è stato bellino, diciamo. Cioè, mi spiace perché il protagonista è morto, però vabbè. Mi ricordo, non mi ricordo quale gioco, anche lì che il, gioco, il giocatore che usavi moriva e poi tu andavi avanti con un altro. Non è la prima volta. È raro, ma non è la prima volta. Questo ad esempio era la parte della mappa che non ci potevo arrivare perché il protagonista insieme a tutti quelli della banda erano ricercati per un colpo che avevano fatto qui dove erano morti due della banda ma questo è successo diciamo nella parte del gioco che tu non puoi comandare quindi te lo raccontano e quindi finché non punto tu non sei morto in questa zona della mappa non potevi arrivarci perché appena mettevi i piedi praticamente ti attaccavano così tanti che era impossibile scappare quindi ti uccidevano e quindi l'unico modo per venirci era, è adesso quindi infatti se tu vedi tutta la mappa io l'ho praticamente sbloccata in alto vedi tutta 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 vado quanto è grossa però la parte qui io non ci potevo venire e c'è ancora un bel pezzo qua da sbloccare quindi adesso posso e quindi ci saranno varie missioni da fare probabilmente qua I trofei sono già al 35 eh? sabato sera
Ok, c'est. Ho detto come mai sei a casa di sabato sera. Poi non so se hai sentito cosa ho detto in merito al gioco. Prima. Se ci sta, allora da una parte lo capisco, però dall'altra comunque il fatto che sei single, magari stasera più che alternativi, so, trovare sai quella con cui ti diverti è un bel sabato sera. Can I help you, friend? Bah, dipende. I hope so. Who's in charge here? Ma se ti organizzi no prima. One, mister. This is a free country. <laughs> No, 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 non intendevo quella a pagamento. Non sono sicuro. Listen, I'm buying this land. I'm afraid. I'm afraid you guys are going to have to go somewhere else. Ok. Who's this? I ain't sure. Some fancy dang city boy says he owns this land. Or he's gonna. Owns it? That's what he says. Ok. And how come we live in here? I ain't sure. Get the hell out of here! This land belongs to me now! Ain't nothing on this earth belongs to no one, partner! Looks like you made your decision then, partner! Signore, grazie a Dio non ho mai avuto questi problemi, sai, di trovarle piuttosto che di divertirmi, quindi. How'd you make out? Well, let's just say there are no more squatters. Okay. Well, I got your paperwork ready. Now, you sure about buying this place? It's really run down, and the price isn't too great. I think it would mean a lot for my wife. At least mean I was listening to her. Okay. Well, sign here and here. I got to read your plan to firm, no? Mm-hmm. Now we own you, Mr. Marston, and we own Mr. Milton, too, and we own your property. But you can buy your freedom each week. Eventually, you will be a homeowner. I understand. Congratulations. You are now a real American, indebted and owned by the bank. <laughs> I'm joking. They own me. They just own your property. Now, you can also use this line of credit for any home improvements you need to make, of course. I can? Sure. Be good, Mr. Marston. Welcome to home ownership. It's a beautiful thing. Let your wife know what to complain about. <laughs> Just joking. Well, it is you. Well, I never. I, I thought you was dead, boy. Dead. Uncle? The very same. Come here. <laughs> I saw you going into the bank, and by the looks of things, you ain't robbed it. I've gone straight. Oh, bull crap. No, for real. <laughs> well, I'm trying. 
all these years. You ain't changed a bit. Maybe a little bit. I thought you was dead. <laughs> not yet. Well, I got some things to take care no, of. Oh, not a problem. I'll come too. No, you don't have to. Oh, I'm real sick, John. Lumbago. It's a slow and painful death, my brother. Evidently. Have a little pity, will you? Huh? Come on, then. All right. <laughs> You got a whore? Follow me. Where are we headed? West. gonna say something. West, oh God, ain't you a man of few words? I can see we're headed west. You know, speaking in monosyllables don't make you seem interesting. It makes you seem stupid. I don't care how I see. Well, now where west are we headed, you damn grunting fool? This ranch, I... A ranch I bought just now. Is that what you were doing in the bank? Spending all your money? A ranch in the armpit of West Elizabeth. Oh, my lord. <laughs> Not that that's any of your concern, but I was in the bank borrowing the money. Well, that's even worse. Yeah, you can run from a bounty, John. You can't run from a bank. Is Abigail there? No. She's, uh, her and Jack are waiting until I'm set up before joining me out here. <laughs> you mean she left you? Oh, I never thought she was a smart woman, but, you know, this makes me think maybe I was wrong. <laughs> no more of that. I just bought this place, and you're lucky I'm showing it to you and not looking for a place to bury you out here. Adesso dice che ho un posto di buco di cola, sicuro. Non scende il tipo. Look at her. Okay. What do you think? Why exactly did you buy this dump? For Abigail? Why? Is she an idiot? No. What were you thinking? I don't know. She said she wanted it. She ever seen it? What are we going to farm here? <laughs> Rocks? We? You don't have a hope here without a wise hand at the tiller. Enough of that. Get out of here. On your way. No, you're stuck with me. Seems I'm stuck with you. John, the rock farmer. <laughs> so, you think I'm an idiot? No. <laughs> I know you're an idiot.
Good morning. Buenos dias. Hey, how about it? Oh, all damn, what's us three left at the end? I heard Sadie might still be alive. Sadie? How'd you hear that? She sent me a telegram. Said she's in Valentine. Sadie sent you a telegram and you ain't paid a visit on her? What's wrong with you, man? It's been a long time. Oh, time. Sadie wants to see you. You go see her. John Marston, really? Shame on you. Good. Well, you take care now. All right, John. c'è un libratore ci sono sempre sta città di merda non c'è la cagero Just okay.
Good looking horse there. If you want me to keep that overnight, there's room in the stable. You're doing well. Hello, sir. Things going okay? Okay.
I thought I told you to leave it, Bubba. I thought to myself, <laughs> who this little girl thinks she's telling anything to? Uh, enjoy your drink in peace. <laughs> I ain't got no business with you right now. What that mean? For the last time. Leave me alone! Or what? Ah! What was that? Get the hell out of here before she kills us all! You! You! Get out of here! John Marston! It is good to see you. <laughs> I thought I heard a rumor you was alive. Jim Milton, that you? Guess I didn't do it. Real good job of hiding my identity. <laughs> we didn't hear nothing about you. You, you killed feller up by Roanoke. Sure did. I thought that sounded like you and Abigail and Jack. She. She's fine. <laughs> she was always so kind to me. I'm looking to buy some property, Beecher's Hope, west of Blackwater. I'm kind of a farmer now. <laughs> and you? Oh, you know how it is. Bounties mostly, and some other stuff, good and bad. Hey, you any interest in bounties? Uh, I've gone straight. Huh? Sort of. <laughs> oh, it's legal, um, usually. Then, maybe. Come on, then. What? Where are we headed? Strawberry. Guy on the run from New York. Good price for him. What'd he do? Rob a bank. With a gun? No, with a pan. He's an accountant, I think. Sounds easy. Come on, we got a bit of a ride. I know. Yeah. Your telegram. You said you had something to discuss. I didn't think we'd be chasing down an outlaw. There's something else. What? Micah. Micah? I think so. I heard of someone sounded like him uh, about a year back. Okay. We always said, if we found him... I know what we said we'd do. That ain't changed. I didn't think I'd see any of you again after you left for the Yukon. Yeah, we came back. Didn't strike it rich, as you can see. But you're a rancher now. I got Uncle with me. We'll be okay. Uncle? Well, getting a scout by that gang out there might be preferable than living with him. Sometimes I think the same. there, friend. How can I help you? All right. See what you can find. Like I said, feller's name is Nathan Kirk. Banker. Bald. 45. Okay. You hit up that way. I'll meet you in a bit. You know where I could find a fellow called Nathan Kirk? Sorry. Can't help you. Say, I mean to meet my friend in town, but I don't know where he's staying. Bald New Yorker, Nathan Kirk. You know where he is? Afraid I don't know. You seen a... You seen a bald New Yorker? 
Name of Nathan Kirk, about 45. <sighs> no, sir. If we get plenty of New Yorkers here, it's resort town, you see. The Adirondacks of the West, the mayor calls it, but <laughs> I can't remember any of the bastards. Okay. Ask in the general store or the post office. They tend to know who's in residence for the season, as we say. Season? Good lord. Excuse me, friend. I'm looking for a Nathan Kirk, fellow from New York. Got any mail for him? Kirk? Kirk? No. Not so as I would remember. Curly, I think. Oh, she's a woman. <laughs> Ask in the Welcome Center. Most tourists check in there. Okay. Thank you. What now? You head in there and try to flush him out. I'll go get the one to meet you there. Easy enough. You uh you seen a fella? A fella from New York? Bald guy? Yeah. A few New Yorkers come here in search of the West. This one's a wanted man. I work for the government. Uh, s s sort of. His name's Nathan Kirk. Mr. Kirk? But he's so charming. Is he staying here? He's, uh, up in room three. I'm gonna go pay him a visit. It's government business. How exciting.
Mr. Kirk! Mr. Kirk, you in there? Who is it? It's just a friend. Just a friend. Come on, open the door. <gasps> Stop! Hey! That's Nathan Kirk! That's Nathan Kirk! Go! Oh, got him? Oh, shut up! Come on, jump on! All right, girl. We gotta get after him. Remember, we want him alive, though. I know. He went right. Stay on him. I'll catch up with you. Where are you going? Shit. Now hold still, mister. Thanks for that, Mr. Kirk. Real fun. I'm, I'm an innocent man, but it's all a mistake. My wife, my wife is a, is a desperate woman. How, how you buried, sir? None of your business what I am. She made me do it. She broke me. I did bad, but I'm not bad. There is a difference. Innocent and they'll prove it otherwise. Where shall I send the money? I ain't been paid yet. Send it on my behalf to West Elizabeth Cooperative Bank in Blackwater. Pay down my loans. Might make them happy to see I've got a boss. No, <laughs> I've got a couple of other leads I could use your help with if you're interested. I'm usually at the saloon in Blackwater. I need money pretty bad, so I'll come find you. That's a girl. Brush it off.
Working hard? <coughs> it's the lumbago. Now, if I overdo it, I I'll get a relapse. It's very serious. Get up or get out. No, you can be so testy. What is it? Constipation? Guess you're my proof I'll never quite outrun my sins. You got so sanctimonious in your old age. No wonder she left you. It's like rooming with the King James Bible. <laughs> get up! Ow! I, I, I'm getting up. Oh, no, wait, what did I have to tell you? I, I went into town. And, oh, I got, I got a little drunk. Oh, shit! Well, we gotta go. We gotta go to San Denis. Charles. Charles Smith is alive, I reckon. Charles Smith alive? Really? I, I reckon. This I dreamed it all, and by the sound of it, not doing too good neither. Let's get off. All right. <sighs> Back in San Denis. I never liked this place. Oh, yeah. Well, me neither. All right. Let's go find that big sour bastard. Sure. <sighs> Let's split up. Good idea. I'll take the saloons. You take the slum. Now, uh, how about I take the saloons? And you take the slums. You're a good filly. Bonjour. How can I help you today, sir? Listen, you seen a big Indian fella? Huh. Indian? Yeah. A boxer. No. Sorry, mister. No. Actually, yes. He, I think he's fighting, I believe. Fighting out behind Saint Saturnine. Thank you. Thanks a lot. No problem. Enjoy the fight! I think they might be starting soon. I would head along that way. Saint Saturnine.
Oh, good lord. I was just beginning to enjoy some peace and quiet. <laughs> Ask that first barman I met. He told me Charles was here. <laughs> Not one of life's great mysteries, it turns out. <laughs> Folks, they love a surprise, but they hate a massacre. And you are a killer. We both know what you gotta do. I'm leaving now. He don't know the half of it. John? You're... You're... I'm alive. <laughs> so are you. <sighs> So's he. That's Uncle? What are you doing? I don't know. I'm alive. Uncle thought maybe he was in some sort of trouble. Uh, kind of. Just... I don't know. I... I'm throwing fights for a few dollars. Let's, let's go find him. giorni scorsi la febbre di 10 giorni dopo oggi l'abbiamo spogliato di brutto e poi c'era l'aria lo è delicato un fight? sure and you like that? of course not so so let me go place a bet come on man I thought you were dead. Sure. Abigail's still alive, too, only she left me. Uh, excuse me. I'd like to place a bet. On who? On myself, to win. Lone Wolf. How much? All of this. Okay. Funny thing, I pegged you for the favorite, but the odds just got real good. What about you, sir? A uh, little wager on the wolf here? Real redskin brave. Ladies sure, I'm a fan of the wolf. Give me a bet on him. Have I got a treat for you? An epic battle between the descendant of ancient warriors and a not so noble savage. On my left, a ferocious battler from the valleys, Simon of Wales. And on my right, an Indian Hercules. The savage, the untamable, the unbeaten, and dare I say unbeatable, lone wolf. You know how this works. No weapons, no forfeiting, no crying like a beaten child. Everything else goes. You win by knockout, you win by retirement, or you win by death. Let's have a good fight, boys. Let's keep it clean, but not so clean. my months, but you also made some fellas mighty unhappy. <laughs> so it goes. Here's your share, partner. We just made the bed, I said we So you keen on staying around here or heading off with me and Uncle? But, John, I haven't seen you two in years. I know. But right now, 
My sense is you just need to lie low. Where? We got a little place up past Blackwater, in the high country. Okay. I gotta grab my baggage. I booked a steamer heading up river. That's why I was pretending to throw the fight. Okay, boys. I'll meet you at the bridge outside Saint Denis. What are you doing? Oh, just have a few urns to run. <laughs> You're useless. I am a deep thinker. Be quick. Come on. This way. Uh, my bag's on the dockside. You looking for some company? Oh. What happened? You mean back then? Arthur helped me get out. Gave me a chance to live, I guess. Turn around. You you know that Arthur. Sure. Word got to me up north, so I went back and buried him in Miss Grimshaw. I had to run. If any of us had been found, we'd have. Oh, of course. I understand. He's where he would have wanted to be. A pretty hillside facing the evening sun. He gave me his satchel with some of his things in it. Remember that journal he always drew in? I got it. I'm a bit of a draftsman myself nowadays. Never seen nothing like it. Is that right? He was a good man. As much as any of us could be. Getting sick like that has to rattle a fella. Uh, rattle him or give him some kind of understanding. What his life was really all about. Yeah. That makes sense. Anyway, I heard all you were dead. Or I might have come looking. And me, the same about you. Dutch? Who knows? Dead? Maybe? I'm not sure. I heard all kind of things, but... One thing I know, he ain't around here. I ain't heard nothing real in years since... Well... That time. Nor me. Micah. I hope that bastard's dead. You know, he was the one speaking to them agents. What? Putting them on us the whole time. Or since before I got off Sissica. They picked up Strauss. The agents. Made a real mess of him. I heard he died in custody. Never said a word. <sighs> Guess some folk is strong in ways you can't see. Everything that happened, all those deaths, Micah? None of us is innocent in that. Dutch, least of all. But I don't think we would have had to make those calls. All that mayhem, if it wasn't for... Okay. Uh, hold on. What? Careful. Why? Those are Guido Martelli's men. Who? He, uh, he used to work for Angelo Bronte. I've only been here an hour. Hey. Come over here. What now? Well, you go left, I go right. On three. Mm -hmm. Three. <laughs> Any law? Not yet. Keep your eye out. Santa Ni ain't short on police. I remember that. Only too well. Anyone? Good so far. The further we get from those gunshots, the better chance we have. Of denying it, at least. No. We can't get caught. Martelli has the police chief in his pocket. If they take us in, we won't get out of the interview room. I don't want to get in a shootout over this. That's not the man I try to be anymore. No, I don't want that either. You see anything? I think we're clear. If I ever want to go back, remind me that I hate Saint Denis. 
Guido Martelli will happily remind you of that. Give me some simple folk and wide open spaces. Speaking of simple... John! Charles! <laughs> you boys been all getting up to no good? Kind of. Been getting shot at. Well, they weren't very good shots. Come on, let's head for home. <laughs> Feels like old times. <laughs> it's good to have the old gang back together again. Let's just hope things don't turn out like last time. There he goes. What'd I tell you, Charles? Boy is as sour as weak old milk. No wonder she didn't stay with you. Not even a retired two dollar whore would stay with you. That's the goddamn truth. Now you used to be decent company, but now you're worse than a snake with a toothache. All he does is whine, whine, whine. Excuse me. Oh, don't get all angry. It ain't gonna change nothing. You're hopeless. And I mean that literally. You got no hope. I mean, look at you. Look at this place. Your dream home. I've had better nightmares than this dream. Oh, darling Abigail. I've changed. Come live with me in an outhouse. I wouldn't ask my worst enemy to take a shit in. What are you trying to say? It's awful. It's a dump. The house has got to go. Well, get some self-respect, you miserable sack of shit. Build a house so the lady set foot in. The place just needs a woman's touch. It needs leveling. No woman would touch this place. Now, I reckon these horses can have it down in a minute. Here. Come on, tie that end around the horses. You loop that end around there. Horses will pull it clean down. <laughs> we good? I think so. All right. Well, <laughs> let's get going. Now, just pull. You got this, John? 
I'll go when you do. And now? Now we head into town, buy ourselves a house right out of a book. Same as if it were a bicycle. Where in town? There's a fellow by the train store. Cakes hardwood and timber. Okay. You keep working here. But if I don't go with you, who's going to tell you that? Just need what? a bit of peace and quiet from your incessant yapping. Charles, make him work. Whip him if you have to. you now, you piece of shit! I want his skill! Get him! You ain't getting away from the Skinners! You look like an honest enough feller. If I could interest you in bounty work, the poster's on the wall. Thanks, Chief.
It's a sorry situation with them mongrel dogs, the Skinner brothers. Just when you thought this country had been civilized. You hear what they done up near tall trees? Might be where to look for them, if you can stomach it. I don't think you'll be bringing him in alive, but sure as hell I'd love to spit in his eye before he hung. Give him my best regards, will you? How do you do? Oh, ho, ho. Hey, easy! Move it! Look out, it's common courtesy. I don't believe I've had the pleasure. Welcome. Give me another one. So, uh, what's it be? Got a 14. Mm, no car. Hello, Sadie. Oh, John. <laughs> Come sit down. Sure. You, uh, got any work? Yeah. Well, there's always work. Whole country's getting robbed, robbing or stopping robbers. Well, seems like there ain't much else in this world except bastards, victims of bastards, and the bastards who want to put the bastards in the ground. And which are you, exactly? Me? In my time, all three. But same as most people. I guess. Well, funny thing about this job, well, opportunity, I just might get to be all three again. How you mean? <clears throat> you ever heard of uh, Shane Finley? Cattle wrestler? Murder, thief, child killer. He's wanted in five states. I caught him last week. He was disguised as a lady in a house for fallen women. <laughs> I was bringing him in, and I got robbed by a professional rival of mine, James Langton. Oh, he's a nasty bastard. I didn't much like him even before he robbed me. That happened a lot. This line of work. Yeah, but they're all people like me. Anyway, now they're holed up in the desert down south waiting to head north so they can hand them in to the state troopers in the north country. I'd given up on the job as just a bad lot, but now that you're here, maybe we can go rob them back. Is the money good? Yeah. It's real good. Plus, I don't much like getting robbed by no one. Come on. Where is it we're heading again, you say? Mm. South. Now, come on. Mount up. We got a ride ahead of us. Of course we do. Okay, Missy. Follow me. Let's ride. Yes, ma'am. Hard. That new horse? Some folk buy ranches, some buy horses. Horses are cheaper. He looks mean. He is. My ranch? It's something else, you know. You gotta come up there. He ain't had any trouble. Some squatters, but that's it for the most part. That's good. Maybe these fellers I heard about have stayed north or gone off somewhere else or dropped down dead in their own tracks. It's good country. All country is good. It's just folk that are bad. You know who I got up there with me? Uncle. Besides Uncle. Abigail? Uh, Abigail ain't come there just yet. Really? You, er, want to talk about it? Well, 
Maybe, but Charles Smith. We found Charles Smith. Charles? He's alive? Yeah. He's doing okay. He was prize fighting in San Denis. Weren't seeming too well. He took everything real hard. But I think life on the plains is gonna be good for him. I always like Charles. You send him my best. I will. You know, you can come along too. Build a cabin on the land. I've done that all before. Can't do it again. I'm on my own now, John. I, I ain't so good with people. Uh, the offer's there. Whenever you want it. That's kind. Unlikely to be taken up, but kind. You heard anything of Dutch? Nothing. You? No. You'd think. He's a colorful character. Word would get out. That's one way of putting it. Look, what happened with the gang changed everyone who was a part of it. The Dutch who put a blanket around me after the O'Driscolls, that weren't the same man at Beaver Hollow. And now, he might not be so colorful no more. You see a man whose character changed. I see a man who got found out for who he truly was. We were fools to follow him. I was a fool and I paid for it. And I was one of the lucky ones. Maka, John. Maka's the one who set it off. I blame me for following Dutch for too long, but I blame Micah for most everything else. He's out there. And someday, I hope we'll find him. But not now. Come on. Outlaw you captured in a women's boarding house? Shane Finley, correct. And we aim to have Langton give him back to us before he rides north with him to hand him over to some state troopers? Correct again. Though the. <laughs> Giving back part is optimistic. I'm forever the optimist. You know, I've been doing some bounty hunting of my own since I last saw you. I ain't gonna make a habit of it. We cut off here. This is the place. It's a view, all right. Take a look down in the valley. I think I see something. Yup. There they are, down there. Who's who? Well, the bounty is the feller who's all tied up. <laughs> Very funny. And that big fat feller with the funny hat, that's James Langton. The other fellas just work for him. Where do you think they're heading? I don't know. Come on. Let's go follow them. Okay. Looks like they're cutting through the canyon underneath us. Let's go. through here.
and keep an eye on them. Whoa. Careful! Don't want to go over that butte. You won't get north through here. What are you doing, huh? You... You talking to me or Langton? Sorry. I ain't used to having anyone with me. My guess is they'll stop up ahead. We can get a better look at them. You know his thinking pretty well. Hmm? If you can't outgun them, you gotta outthink them. The canyon opens up down a ways. We'll head them off there. be our chance. Yeah, they're stopping. And that sure is Shane Finley coming off the back of his horse. What are they waiting for? Uh, the rest of Langton's men, I think. Langton's doing pretty well for himself. How come he's got all them men and you work alone? <laughs> I got you. You're worth ten of them. <sighs> Great. All right, so what you think? Should we threaten them, start shooting at them, or sneak down and pick them off one by one? I reckon sneaking down is our best opportunity, but uh, it's your call. I'll follow your lead. Let's sneak down there. Okay, well, follow away. Stay down and stay close. Let's go. Going down the canyon. Look out on these rocky paths. Two guys below us. Let's get closer. around them. You take one of them, I'll take the other. You gotta throw a knife. You gotta throw a knife and snake. <laughs> you got him. Okay, let's move. Up ahead, another one on patrol. I got this guy. Thank you. 
got any objections. What's in here? Are you with her? What's it look like? I need to relieve myself. There'll be a bucket in your cell. <sighs> I'm serious. Yep, and so am I. Hit him, John. Oh, please. Hey, you don't need to do that just because she told you to. I don't need to be hit. I just want to be treated civil. Shut it. You heard the lady. Thank you. I still protest my innocence. This woman ripped me out of my bed, kidnapped me, then let Langton kidnap me. Then you killed them all and kidnapped me back. I'm the victim here. This is tough. Damn you. John, would you be so kind as to shut him up? Don't listen to her. Now, let me speak my piece. There's no call to hit me, mister. Listen to him squirm. Jesus. Bad dog. <laughs> That's it. How'd it work ain't easy, Joan? No, but I can see now it has its rewards. That's a whole lot easier with a partner. That back there, you didn't need a partner. You needed a whole company behind you. We did fine. And with Langton and his men gone, there'll be more demand for our service. <laughs> Sadie, you know I'm a rancher now. Mostly. And I know how you're paying for your ranch. Don't spread that around. Hi, I won't. I never have. But it would be good to have you along some more. Here we are. Grab him and bring him in, Joan. Sure. You're a bitch and a bastard. We brought in Shane Finley. Oh, great. Let's uh, put him in the cell. Saving that one for later? Damn you! Uh. Uh. Just put him on the bed. Uh. Uh. We're gonna watch you swing. What for? I didn't do anything. Nothing. Yeah, yeah. I thought you said you lost him. Well, I did, but we got him back. 
Oh, and James Langton's dead. We killed him. Why'd you do a thing like that? It was him that robbed me. Okay. Here. Here's a decent price on Finley. Mm-hmm. I know. <laughs> uh. You want this money to go to the bank, too? No, I'll, uh, I'll take it myself. <laughs> okay, Jim Milton. It's John Marston here. All right, well, if you need any more work, you can find me in town. Or maybe I'll find you. I'm retired. Sure. <laughs> Be well, John. Excuse me, sir. You work here? No, I just hang around here for fun. <laughs> I'm joking, I'm joking. How can I help you, friend? I know this sounds crazy. Some dumb old coot, I know, is telling me there's these houses you can buy pre-cut. <laughs> Not crazy, friend. The very latest in modern convenience. Convenient and cost-efficient. Which house do you want? Each one is entirely unique, but also the same. Excuse me? Perhaps I'm going too fast, sir. Do you want to buy a house? I think so. I'll give you a luxurious, entirely unique pre-cut palace. And if you order today, I guarantee you're home in a matter of weeks, maybe sooner. I'll take that one. Ah, uh -huh, yes, we have that one in stock. And I already got credit from the bank. Oh, fantastic. You write your name here, and uh, you sign your name there, and you will be the proud owner of a factory-built home. It's that easy. Pleasure to meet you, Mr. Martin. Albert Cakes, Esquire, at your service. You boys give me a minute. <sighs> what are you doing here? Everything okay? I'm not sure. Probably. A fella came by the farm. Got attacked on the road. He said the Skinner brothers was hanging around. Lots of them. I left Uncle Arm to the teeth back at the ranch. Who are these two? Guns for hire. This Skinner's about we need them. We ain't got that kind of money, Charles. You want to get robbed for your house? No, but... Hey, these Skinner's can be nasty. Come on. Mr. Devin, here with me. Mr. Wayne, this is... Milton. Jim Milton. Sir, good to meet you. We're gonna be heading up to the Manzanita Post. Why? Best Smith around is that Norwegian fella up there. Yeah, so they say. 
You boys ready? Yes, sir, we're ready. Good, because you're about to get shot at over a goddamn hammer. You want to build a house with a sniper rifle, then? I know old Neil's real well. I'll get you a good deal. Thank you, sir. All right, then. Let's go buy us some tools. I know the quickest way. Follow me. Say, is your friend a Negro or a Redskin? I think a bit of both, for what it's worth. Cash is cash. That was all the same to me. I saw you getting skittish there, but don't you worry. We're not getting shot at. Oh, yeah. I know Charles Smith. If he's got cause to be concerned, it's usually good cause. You got a shotgun messenger sitting right beside you, all right? Now, suppose you don't know much about robbing caravans. Not much, I guess. <laughs> no. Well, nor do I. But I know a thing or two about protecting them. And if a robber sees some strong men sitting up front, two of them guns for hire, then they're gonna wait for the next set of fools to come on through. Unless they take the guns to mean they're carrying something valuable. Instead of pre-cut timber and some tools. What? No. Wait, look, trust me on this. You are overthinking it. You hire a gun, you hire peace of mind and a deterrence. So I'll sit here looking big and scary, and you can concentrate on the horses. All right. I'll do just that. Maybe I've done this kind of thing before, and maybe I can handle a weapon. But I'm not so different from you, partner. I think you might be. People wonder how you can handle it, living by your gun. But it's the same as any other occupation, really. Hey, we're taking the next right up towards Manzanita Post. What was that you were saying? When I get home, I put my gun on the rack and it stays there. I mean it, it, it really stays there. I don't even think about it. My mind's on my wife and the little ones. I'm chopping wood, mending the roof. Putting the kids to bed. But when I'm out here, I'm watching the tree line. I got my gun at the ready. And I'm trying That's to make my floor as comfortable as possible. That's, uh, real good of you. You're in good hands. I know this country well. Good. Am I finally gonna meet this tool maker? Now, Neil's... He's an acquired taste, but boy, can he work metal. Norwegian, you see? Viking blood. Fellas up there used to worship a god with a hammer. Guess I figures they'd still be making them. I'm not sure how much English he speaks, but Neil's knows tools. This is the spot, just up ahead. Okay. You boys wait here. After you, Mr. Milton. Like I said, Mills is a, an acquired taste. Let me do the talking. Uh, there he is, working away. <laughs> Nils. Nils, it's me. Willard Wayne? Okay. This is my associate, Jim Milton. Okay. He heard you was the best. Best smith around. He needs some tools. He's building a ranch house up at Beecher's Hope. Beecher's Hope? Okay. Have you got any maid? Uh, okay. Like I said, an acquired taste, but a heart of gold, and he's the best. You off someplace, Nils. Okay. So Milton is uh, working with Cakes Hardwood and Timber in town. Should I get them to pay you and add it to his bill up there? Okay. Come on, let's get moving. Okay. 
All right, then. Beecher's Hope. They've been trying to sell that property for some time, hadn't they? Took a look at it myself, as it so happens. It seemed like a lot of work. Too much for me. But more power to you. Must have seen something in it I couldn't. Everyone find some cover! All right. You alive? No. Mr. Devin, you okay? Yes. Got the last of them? I think so. There's more! They got the tools! They grabbed Mr. Wayne! All right. You stay here. Guard the wagons. Charles, come on! Help! Over Mr. Here. Devin! I see him! I found the tools. Now, where's Mr. Shit. <laughs> Jesus. We gotta move fast. Come on.
damn it. A few minutes ago, he was chewing my ear off. You know what he was getting into. Did he? Get out of here. Oh, my lord. What'd they do to him? Nothing nice. Got it? Come on. We gotta go. Shit. Those goddamn animals. Okay. John, I'm riding with you. Get us back to beaches. Those were the Skinner brothers. I told you I was worried. Sadie said something too. What kind of land have I bought? It's not the land. The Skinners move around. They're here for now. I thought this... This kind of bloodshed was meant to be over with. What was all the nonsense about civilization? This kind of bloodshed is different. Folks have been killed, sure. For good reason and bad. But rarely just for the fun of it. That was fun for them? No. Not that time. Most folk don't usually put up with such a fight. Then I hope we put an end to it. There was a caravan. A few months back. Massacred. Uncle! 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 You useless sack of crap. I was keeping guard. Really? Whoa. What happened? Skinner Brothers. Bottom? them? Enough. Once this is done, I'll take Mr. Devin back to town. You poor Mr. Wayne buried. Okay. Be careful. Well, I will. But I'm fairly sure we scared him off for now. Bad business. Well, we'll be safe together. Sure. If you say so. And John, I love you. Don't you forget that. Perfetto, ragazzi vi ringrazio per avermi seguito, ci vediamo domani per un altro gameplay di gioco, caccia ai trofei, Red Dead Redemption 2, ciao a tutti, buonanotte.